Tolkien's Wheel of Time. Welcome, one and all. So, we have our first actor announced for the uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy. Um, with all parts still very much under wraps, English actor Will Poulter, uh, famous for such uh, shows as Black Mirror and um, apparently something called We're the Mirrors. We're the Millers, sorry, look at my notes. We're the Millers, not We're the Mirrors. Um, very different show that sounds. Um, but apparently he won a BAFTA for that, so it's got to be good. And um, he's been confirmed to be the first uh, per actor to have a main part. This in young the and very talented Amazon actor show. shows that Amazon is taking the series very seriously. Now the fun part. One I have seen mentioned is possibly playing a young Elrond. However, I doubt this, as Elrond was born in the first age, and despite elven youth, I think he's a bit too young to play someone with the wisdom that Elrond would have by this point in time. Personally, I think that the series is going to cover the entirety of the second age. This means that for me, he is probably going to play a character that was born at the beginning of this age. Let's forget Elrond and turn to his oft-forgotten brother Elros, who, being the first choosing to become a human, became the first king of the newly raised island of Numenor. Therefore, this would also mean that it makes him the original ancestor to Aragorn, later King Elisar, King of Gondor at the end of the Third Age, and famous for his main part in The Lord of the Rings. It could even be possible that he is playing Sauron, as during the Second Age, a large part of the story relies on the fact that at this point he could take on a beautiful form, which led to the scheming and eventually the fall of Numenor, followed by the end of the Second Age and the last alliance of elves and men, which takes place at the beginning of Lord of the Rings. Naturally, he could no longer take on beautiful form at this point, that is, unless you're into the whole metal lava look, which, like I say, I am not judging you. If they decide to go for a more um, recent time for the prequel to Lord of the Rings, then our young actor could be playing a part, the part of Elendil. Um, quick history lesson, Elendil was king of the faithful. This was the name given to those Numenorians who stayed faithful to the will of the Valor. Um, this was instead of basically falling for Sauron's tricks, like most of the Nor Numenorians did, and um, committing one of the great atrocities of the Second Age, which was launching an attack upon Valinor and the Valor themselves. Now come the days of the king. Though he and his faithful band were spared, Numenor was sank below the waves by the all-powerful god Iluvatar, one of the few times that he acted directly in earthly affairs. This was punishment for the Numenorian betrayal of the Valor. And so, Elendil and the Faithful had to sail to a new homeland. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. Let me know some of your theories on uh, this topic. Um, I'd love to read about it in the comments section down below. I answer all comments. Thanks a lot. This is Shades, signing off. Bye-bye.
By the way, I will get out of Warhammer Fantasy video. I promise, I will, I will. It's just these casting videos keep popping up and I keep having to change tact and release one on them. But I will get one out. I believe in myself. So just you wait and see. Cheers. Thanks.